Hey guys, it's Daniel here. No, I did not turn into a Kana. I'm right here. I actually just uh, wanted to make a quick video talking about a dream I had. So today we are actually just going to turn on my fan. Oh, my biggest fan, in fact. Let's shed some light on the situation. Here we go now. Let's just set that up. Uh, Kana, that's Kind of enough. Oh, um, so a couple things. I had a dream. Um, I had a very strange dream. I was basically used. Not, not like somebody used me to get something, but I was used in a way to get to somebody that needed me. Like... Not just me, but somebody that desperately needed help through a dream. Have you ever had something like that happen? Um, I don't think much of, many of you could say this. I'm not joking. But here we go. We're just going to go ahead and talk about this dream because I honestly freak out every time I think about it. <sighs> um, the pressure and fear within the dream for me is there's a couple here. The first dream I want to talk about, you all know how I had a best friend, his name was Mike. I lost him, desperately tried to be like, hey, yeah, reach out. And that failed ultimately, you all know that. That was a real story. I actually had a dream recently. Oh God, almost tearing up at the dream. It was, this first dream was a cruel joke for whatever my brain tried to put on me. My brain literally created some sort of image in its head that, hey, yeah, we don't just miss Mike. He was not our best friend. I had a dream that it was like he was our enemy. And I'm like, what the frick? I woke up and I'm like, this is terrifying. My best friend, the person who I trusted with all, literally, I trust him with a lot of my secrets. I don't even remember most of the secrets, but he has them. He has them deep within his head. I don't even know where he is, if he's even still alive. But I had a dream that we were enemies and he tried to kill me in the dream. I'm not joking. I freaked out because that was like the one person I trusted with my life. And the dream, literally, I was like, Hey man, you're just like awesome. You're my best friend. He's like, oh yeah, yeah, something, something. And then I died. Like he killed me. Yeah, I'm freaking out because I had this dream. And as you as you remember, he was my best friend, the truest best friend I could ever have. I trusted him with my life, and he threw away that trust. So, anyways, we're moving on to a less creepy dream. Okay, the next one after this is at the beginning of the video as I told you that have you ever felt connected to someone you don't necessarily know yeah so this one is a little strange I remember seeing two people uh, if you remember a long time ago I said I saw two people one with a cupcake or something but this is not related I saw two people that looked kind of familiar but slowly they just faded. Now that's not going to be really important for the next dream because this was longer, so the dream itself is kind of hazy. But the last dream, so about a week ago, so the, the first dream where my best friend tried to kill me was like two weeks ago. Um, a week ago, I had a dream that it wasn't, it was, you know when you have dreams that you're like, it's not really a dream. It, there's something more going on here. Like, you can tell that, no, you're not in control. But this dream isn't just a dream. There's something more with it. If you can, if you know that is what I'm talking about. I had one of those moments. And a, I was with this person. Now, I don't know who she was, but it was very creepy for me. Because... I was talking, but I was not talking. I was like, it was kind of like how the co-pilot of an airplane doesn't do anything until he has to get in control of the plane when the pilot goes to do whatever the pilot does everywhere else, like if he needs to talk to somebody. So 
I was kind of like in the co-pilot seat of myself. I saw from my own eyes everything that was going on. Like, it, like right now. This person, the one I'm touching, that's me. Through my real life eyes, I saw this person, but I was not in control of my body. Then later on, we were talking. She was like, hey, yeah, so how, were, how was your day? I'm like, my day was good or something. I can't really remember because I have no idea what I said. I wasn't in control. But I remember she, what she said kind of blurry. It was it's kind of blurry now because it's last week. Okay. So then something snapped. It's like, you know how in a movie everything ends with white? It goes to a white screen for great movies. It snapped. It was like that, but really fast. And then I looked around. My human body was in control of the dream form. This was not a dream, but it yet again happened all in a dream. I'm freaking out. So the thing is, she she said, what's, what's up? What was that for? Whenever I looked around and I'm not joking you, I said, oh, nothing. But at this point I wasn't talking and I was about to say her name for something and I woke up immediately. It feels great to get that off my chest, but I'm honestly scared. So if you know anybody that's going through hard times, just let them know that we're all there for them because this dream was more than just telling me what I'm meant to do and that I'm here to help people. I know I am. But honestly, if you have the time of day to just go out of your way to help somebody, please do it. Honestly, it, it, you don't know how much it can change their life, their day even. I had very few, very few people that have actually done this for me, but I've been willing to go out of my way, sacrifice things. I've been willing to sacrifice my time, my day, my whole day even, just to help somebody. I've been willing to sacrifice everything that I would plan to do, everything that I am doing. I've sacrificed so much for people, and you don't know how much that can help people. So please, all I'm asking you to do is just go out of your way and honestly just help somebody for once. And just, like, it could be, like, helping them, helping an old lady cross the, the road or something. Anything. No matter what small thing you do can measure up completely. It can do amazing things. You don't even know what's going on to, to them or in their life. So I'm begging you, just go out of your way and help somebody at least one time every day. Thanks for listening. Bye. Or should I say peace, because I'm not leaving yet.